Hello Animals fans and welcome back to Analysis. Today we're looking at Subvisa 19. And coincidentally, the only mention of Subvisa 19 is in Book 19, The Departure. We get basically no information of Subvisa 19, who they actually are, what they look like. We only have circumstantial information, which is why Adobe Firefly well, yeah. Let's see why I've got this image. <laughs> Firstly, you can tell it's uh, AI generated. Look at the thumb. What's going on there? It still hasn't figured out f hands and fingers, has it? AI generating stuff. But my god, she's got a uh, an angry looking face on her. And I think that's justified by what we see in the quotes. She looked very old, staring down hopelessly at the spot where the Dracon beam had fallen. It was easy to see that runoff from the rainstorm had rushed down across that area. The ground was smooth and cut with gullies. Probably down in the river by now, I said. With her ankle now swollen to three times its normal size, there was no way Karen could climb down there. Karen looked lost and confused. I can't go back without it, she said. It will mean facing Subvisa 19. Your boss? Yes, my commander. I don't suppose you'd help me look for it. I shook my head. No, not a chance. Karen laughed bitterly. Well, they'll go easy on me when I bring you in. Maybe they'll give me to you, I said. Make me your host body. So, Karen, or whatever your yerk name is, tell me about your life. I know you don't like your commander. That's about it. That's all we get. That's all we get of Subvisa 19. So what do we know about Subvisa 19? This character, this Subvisa, is in control of Aftran, who obviously in this case is Karen, in the host body Karen. We also know that she's not very, um, what's the word? She's not very nice to her subordinates, or at least she's not very forgiving. Now let's look at Another quote, just to give us a little bit more information that I believe we can use. We had sneaked up close to the meeting in various morphs. We had identified a dozen people we did not know were controllers, including a radio DJ who did one of those wacky morning shows, a state highway patrolman, a TV news reporter, and a substitute teacher who I had for homeroom for two months while my regular homeroom teacher was having a baby. A simple mission, nothing too dangerous, except that it had all gone wrong. Far from the main meeting, off to one side, out of sight of the innocent, naive people who wanted to join for the fun, the executive meeting had gone suddenly weird. One of the human controllers had made a mistake of some sort, a serious mistake, and suddenly she was being hauled off toward a waiting bugfighter by Hort Bajir warriors. They wanted to take her to Visa 3, the leader of the Yerk invasion of Earth. She knew what that meant. If she was lucky, her death would be quick. She started to yell. You may ask, now Adam, there was no mention of a Subvisa 19 in that quote. So what are you talking about, you balding... Well, well that's what you are. And yes, I do take offence to that, but I'll come back at you with a response. And here it comes, brace yourself. Aftran was at this meeting. How do we know that? Because she saw Cassie kill her pool mate her peer, her peer what was the relationship between them again i think they were uh, siblings i believe they were siblings aftran saw cassie kill a hortbajir and the yerk in that hortbajir was related to aftran so aftran then proceeded to spy upon cassie and that's how we ended up in this situation then in the first place so what does that mean for sub uh, subvisa 19 if aftran is at this meeting then we could possibly, probably, maybe, assume that Aftran's 1IC is at this meeting as well. Basically, Aftran's boss. There is no mention of a sub 19 or someone who appears to be in charge of this group at the executive meeting, but surely somebody that is in charge and would have Hortbegir there as well, and Aftran is there who is basically the subordinate of this character, so I'm going to say 60-40 chance 
that the Subvisa, Subvisa 19, was at this executive meeting. Aftran would be under orders from Subvisa 19 to be at that meeting. So either Subvisa 19 is at that meeting or she's told Aftran, go to that meeting. And why would Aftran go to that meeting without Subvisa 19 be? It, yeah, it, to me it just makes sense that Subvisa 19 was at this executive, executive meeting of the sharing. Why is this relevant? Well, look at the picture Adobe Firefly made for me. It's a picture of a shouting lady in a park in front of a barbecue. What's happening at this meeting that we saw in that quote? It was a barbecue in the park. So <laughs> this is Subvisa 19 shouting angrily at somebody over a barbecue in the park. So that's what we have. Why is she an old uh, Latina lady? Why not? Why not? <laughs> There's no indication of the sex of this cat of the host. We can be pretty certain. Can we be certain that it's a human host? I'm, I'm thinking yes, because the, this executive meeting must surely be headed by humans. The, the hobbits will be off in the background somewhere. They're not going to be out in the open. So I reckon let's take all this together now. Subvisa 19 is probably one of the high ranking members of the sharing. Now you might say, don't we know that Tom and Chapman are high ranking members of the sharing? Could it be possible that one of those two are actually Subvisa 19? And my response to that is, every time Tom and Chapman are in a scene, they are mentioned. Mentioned specifically, and they appear a lot, and they're always mentioned whenever they're there, even if it's just a case of, oh, and Chapman was there too. In this scene, not if one of those two is, um, is mentioned. So I'm pretty certain that Subvisa 19 is not Tom or Chapman, but it is a Yerk in high ranking position regarding the sharing. To be fair, we're not really clued in on how much of a part Chapman and Tom play in the sharing. So yeah, maybe they aren't involved at all. Maybe like indirectly, maybe Subvisa 19 is the lead of the sharing. Of course it was Visa 1, but then Visa 1 went elsewhere and Visa 3 took charge. Visa 3 doesn't seem to be in charge of the sharing. So maybe that got delegated down to Sub Visa 19. Maybe. Why is she shouting in this picture? Well, we learned from those quotes that she's pretty merciless. That one, of, one human host was being dragged to a bug fight to be taken up to Visa 3 who would not treat her very kindly, i.e. That sort of thing. So whoever Subvisa 19 is, they care little for the health of their subordinates and hence why Aftran is probably thinking, if I return without my Dracon beam, she's not going to be happy. Yeah. Hence the, the shouty lady. She's not smiling, she's yelling at you, yeah? This is the moment before the lady was dragged off toward the bug fighter. She's saying, you burnt the sausages, you wazzock! And that's why she got dragged off, you see. What else can we learn going forward? Well, we'd, we never learn the fate of Subvisa 19, but we could possibly suggest that anytime the sharing was brought up, maybe Subvisa 19 was in the background somewhere. Uh, when the community center opened, when there was that big crowd gathering, I can only imagine Subvisa 19 was there, unless at some point down the line, she annoyed the Visa and got killed herself and replaced. We don't know, we don't know. If it was a TV show, yeah, she'd probably have a couple of background cameos, but little else. That's your role, Subvisa 19, apparently. So let's summarise. She is Aftran's commander, and probably as well commander of the Yerk that Cassie kills at the start of Book 19, which sets off this whole series of events. We never meet her in person, but we can possibly assume that she was at this meeting, even though she was never mentioned. I'm assuming her sex, why, which is why I'm saying she rather than he. And that's basically because of this picture I've got here. We can assume that she carried on her duties for a certain amount of time to like the very latest book 54, of course, when all the Yerks end up surrendering. Until that point, she just hangs around in the background and does yerky things, we can assume. Maybe she just carried on cooking sausages for the rest of eternity. I wouldn't complain because I freaking love sausages. Get them down your neck. One thing I will say for almost certain is that the host is pretty much spot certain 
we don't know who they are. It's not Tom, it's not Chapman, it's not anybody we've met before. So, basically just a name drop for Aftran's story. Of course, after the events of this book, probably not anymore. Aftran, uh, well, no, would have still been in the uh, peace movement, but would have had to have been undercover. So, yeah, actually, Aftran probably still did work under Subvisor 19, but was acting a bit of a traitor in the background. But it's the good sort of traitor, you know, the one who's on our side, yeah? That's, that's how traitors work. <laughs> Thank you, Subvisor19, for your minimal purpose in this story. You didn't even need to be there, let's be honest, but it's interesting lore in the background, and I like the picture that Adobe Firefly gave for you. So let's see what's next in analysis, shall we? It's time to spin the wheel of Annie Fortune. And we've now completed the audiobook for book 21. So the options, the, the analysis for book 21 are in there as well. So that's things like The Holiday Inn, Lion Morph, The Bellboy. They're all in there. So let's clickety do and spin the wheel -aroo. And what's going to be episode 71? I think it's 71. We've, we've, we've done a lot of these at this point. Who's it going to be? Jesus. All right, that's a big one. Okay, <laughs> that's what she said. Hawk Bajir. Right, so we've had quite a string of uh, sort of like Captain Samolin, like really sort of mid-importance ones. And then we've had things like Bill and Steve and this one, sort of this 19, which, you know, <laughs> barely worth a mention. Now we're on to a big one, Hawk Bajir. This is going to take a fair bit of research. I'm going to hopefully get it up in time. But yeah, it's 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 a big one. So that should be good. Hawk Bajir is the next analysis. Thank you very much for watching and tune in for that one. I'm sure you will. If you if you spent time watching the Subvisor 19 analysis, I'm pretty certain you're going to watch the Hawk Bajir analysis. Else, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> You should watch every video, every video. Go back and watch the Santorini's one. Anyway, I'm, I'm rabbiting on again. Thank you, Subvisa19, for being an excellent addition to the series. And tune in for the Hope G one. Thank you very much for watching. Join us somewhere else in the Anmorphs universe. Ta-ra.